Hey everyone and welcome to the channel. My name is Ash and today I'm covering Arcage Unchained. Now I originally played this game on launch years and years ago when it was just Arcage. It was like the new hit MMO. It was going to be the bee's knees and I played it for a fair few months at launch and then I just sort of dropped off because it just became a very pay to win MMO. Now it's since changed there's also Arcage Unchained now this was originally announced as it was going to sort of be a pay to play sort of model where you basically pay a one off fee for the game and you can just basically play all of the content over it being sort of a um, subscription based system so similar to sort of guild wars where you can you buy the game you can play it you don't need a subscription but you can pay for subscriptions for like bonuses and extra items and stuff like that so this version came out a few years ago now i think it was like 2019 um the developers sent me a um copy of the game or it may have been the publisher like Kakao Games. Um, it's developed by XL Games and basically I had uh, a month's worth of the Unchained subscription and I jumped back in and had a little play with it. Now overall like I say it hasn't changed too much in the sense of like what the game is about. Uh, it's still an absolutely gorgeous MMO. It's got beautiful character models, enemy models, giant monster battles, all of the, the sort of stuff I remember playing. And it also has the housing and farming aspects that I really liked back in the day where you basically built your own house up. Um, you had to like collect all the pieces to build it and everything like that. And you had all these little neighborhoods and stuff like that. And I thought that was really cool back in the day. Now, the issue I have got is, and I've been looking into this game a bit before I started playing. Apparently now, you have to have a paid subscription to play this. Um, so, Unchained is now a sort of subscription-based MMO, which seems to def like totally go against what it originally was. Um, so, it was like launched as a buy once, play forever kind of thing. Uh, and now, it's a free to play subscription based MMO so it's slightly confusing um, and like I say it, it doesn't feel like anything's changed in the sense that it's still the same game um, it still plays the same and I'm not sure like I say what's changed like you can play the normal arcade free to play so the standard arcade game like I say it's exactly the same but for some reason, Unchained, you have to have a subscription for. It's like a, it's, it's a weird one. I don't know what the difference is. I can't tell. I honestly, um, I haven't got the time or interest to go back and download the normal arcade and replay it. Um, but I just think it's a bit odd that it was launched Unchained. Like I say, I'm reading literally the press release for it now. Um, it'll be released in a buy to play version um titled unchained and they've sort of totally changed it now so i, f I feel sorry for anyone who has paid for this uh, up front and now has to subscribe to continue play uh, playing the game they've fully paid for especially when the other arcade version is now free but like i say in terms of gameplay, it's not too bad. Like I say, it's a fantastic looking MMO. The combat and everything is really nice. The environments look fantastic. It's a very generic sort of fantasy farce. I didn't, like I said, I didn't play too much of the game because honestly, um, I just, I, I, I only played that one month. Um, I wasn't going to go crazy on it. Um, and honestly, like I say, MMOs take a lot of commitment. However, if you look online, you can see tons and tons and tons of complaints. Like I say, it's mostly negative reviews recently on um, Steam. And it's currently got mixed overall reviews. So you've got to think about it. Like I say, if you don't mind that sort of grindy pay-to-win aspect of the game, um, 
you probably enjoy this game. Um, and honestly, it's not a bad MMO. It, it It's gorgeous to look at. Like I say, they've done a fantastic job of that. It's a very sort of um, Eastern style MMO. However, like I say, if you're just coming into the game now, you'll probably not mind it as much um, because you, you'll just be paying the subscription. But if you've pre already paid for the actual, I've bought this to play like i've bought it up front and i should be able to play it you shit out of luck you're gonna have to pay a subscription to play it um but honestly like i say um it's not a bad game um this is like the subscription side of it um instead of the sort of free to play fully monetized version that's on offer but like i say it's it's not bad, um, but it's not the best out there. And like I said, I, I'm not giving it a full review. I haven't been able to put the huge amount of hours in that it would require for a full review. I'm just giving you sort of my quick sort of thoughts from playing it for a while. And the whole situation baffles me. Like I say, I, I started trying to sort of read up on it. I like to do that before I do videos. And the fact that... Um, <laughs> The, the the comments are like I recently came back to this after uh, not playing for a while and now I can't get on because I have to pay an extra fee every month to play the game that I've already paid for so um, that is to me is a bit shady so be wary of that but like I say if you haven't prepaid and you just want to subscribe give it a go like I say you can get uh, the monthly uh, subscriptions available there's loads of really nice mounts and sort of pets and stuff you can buy. Like I say, they look fantastic. You do have to spend your real cash on them, but they do look fantastic. Um, but check it out. Like I say, I investigate it, read up on it before you play. Because like I say, the monetization side of it is shady as. But it does have good quests and a cool story. Awesome raids. Um, the giant like open world style bosses and stuff like that is really really cool and like i say it is a beautiful game it just lets it down in the sort of important aspect really that is the payment and sort of subscription based side so i highly advise you look into it yourself before you jump in or if you just want to see what arcade is like you can just play the original version and um go from there basically um, but yeah, it's a very, it's a tough one to sort of, uh, explain. But other than that, that's this video, guys. Hope you've enjoyed it. Let us know in the comments what you think of Arcage. Have you played it? Because like I say, I am, I am super confused because like there's a listing for the standard Arcage on Steam and then there's one for Unchained and they both have pretty much the exact same text as well. It, it just totally baffles me. Um... All I can see that's different is on the Unchained, it now has a boost server as well where you get double XP. So it's sort of like an easy way to play. Um, it says Unchained provides the same content that's in the Legacy Arcade version. However, Unchained provides plenty uh, of resources as labor. So basically when you do things in the game, you use like your labor ability so you've got x you have to end up standing around doing nothing waiting for it to reload and like recharge whereas on this you've got a lot more stuff um you've got buff items and stuff like that included but the actual core game itself is identical in terms of story quests and stuff like that so make your own minds up like i say it's a very confusing one and it's it's confused me even more reading up on it for this video so yeah sorry i can't be of more help guys like i say <laughs> well then that click like click subscribe and we'll see you soon for more content bye for now